Welcome along folks to another episode of Good Luggage. Today we are going to be showing the easiest way to figure out the PIR, otherwise known as the panel impact ratio, for using foam on a car. Um, most of the time, the, I, I use built hammer auto foam, that's what I generally use. It's just I like the product and I've heard great reviews and I've read and seen videos and all the rest and I just like using that product. I think it actually does a great job. The recommended dose that they say or recommended percentage or PIR to use with auto foam is 4%. Now, how do we calculate 4%? There is so much talk in forums and Facebook and all the rest about saying that, oh, you put 100 mil or 200 mil into a foam can and fill the rest up to a liter with water, or you just put an inch in or whatever. None of them are correct measurements, okay? The reason being is that each machine and each bit of equipment is different than that you use. So example, right? I'm using a Karcher K4 Compact. I have this, um, foam lance uh, that I got from Reflect Auto Care and the setting that I have, look it's on that, there, it's, it's at setting four. Okay, so there's five different settings on that. Each different setting that you have is actually also going to um, change the PIR, the ratio that you're going to be getting from it. So when you're calculating out your PIR, you need to leave it on a certain setting or look, even take a note if you're using setting five, PIR for that one is such and such. If you're using setting two, PIR for that is such and such but as long as it stays with the same equipment that you're using, i.e. the same power washer and the same lance, okay? Um, the items that you're gonna need, yeah, as I said, you're gonna need a power washer, you're gonna need your foam lance, you're also gonna need a bucket with a measuring scale on the side of it, in, that's in liters there, and you're also probably gonna need a calculator afterwards just to figure out the exact, um, the exact measurements for the PIR. So as I said, it's not, an inch in the bottle, it's not two inches of product in the bottle, it's not uh, someone saying, oh, 400 mil, 200 mil. It all depends on what equipment that you're actually using, okay? Now, what I also find is that, uh, stay back here so you can see the camera. Um, another thing that I think people also get tripped up on is that uh, there's two different things. There's panel impact ratio, which is the result you get from here outwards, from the trigger outward, or from the, the, the actual output outwards. I think, now people are getting confused by panel impact ratio and dilution ratio. Now dilution ratio is what's in the bottle itself. Now that's not to do with foam, that is to do with trigger bottles. So the other point about the difference between panel impact ratio and dilution ratio is um, dilution ratio you're using two ingredients, panel impact ratio you're using three ingredients. Now I have a simple thing here. Um, excuse the little cheapness of this anyway, but uh, hopefully it works or explains something to you. Now, so dilution ratio versus panel impact ratio. On the dilution ratio you need two ingredients, on panel impact ratio you need three ingredients. Now, dilution ratio you're talking about product and water. For when you're using foam, you're talking three ingredients, you're talking concentration, or the, 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 the what do you call it? The concentration, the product you're using, your, yeah, so you need three ingredients, the product you're using, water, but you also need air as well to act, uh, to help the foam. And I'll show you a little example of a bigger unit in a second. Dilution ratio is normally um, worked out for a squeezy, <laughs> spray bottle, trigger bottle. So that's two ingredients in a spray bottle, whereas the foam bottle then is using the three ingredients, i.e. bringing in the air into it. Dilution ratio, again, uses actual ratios. So you're talking four to one, five to one, one to five, one to four, whatever it is. Whereas the PIR, panel impact ratio, seems to be asking you for a percentage instead of a ratio. It's just for all those maths heads that might be going a bit mad on that one. So um, the product that I use, again, Bill Tamber Auto Foam, says the ideal mix, or ideal, yeah, the ideal mix for, um, make sure I'm still recording. I am recording. Um, it asks for a 4% panel impact ratio. So that's 4% coming out of here, all right? Um, as I said, it changes per every machine and everything like that, and you need to test your own um, equipment in order to find out exactly what is the panel impact ratio. So the way we do it is we connect our foam lance up to our power washer, and what we need to do now is we need to expel all the water out of this plus the water is coming in through the hose. So this water is coming in through the hose. It's taking the product as well and it's mixing with air in here and 
outputting your 4%. So to calculate the 4%, we need to expel all the water, see exactly what it fills up to, see what the amount is, calculate the 4% of that once this is all gone. And once we have that then, that'll tell you the amount of product that you need to have into that bottle then, whether it's 200 mil, 400 mil, 600, whatever it is anyway. So, okay, let's crack on. Oh yeah, sorry. I wanna show you a bigger example of one of these basically. So this is one that we use in work, okay? It's basically, it's a bigger version of this here, okay? It's, it's a, another foam cannon. So water comes from the pump. It introduces concentrate, then foam concentrate along the way, and it comes out to this section here. So by here, you have foam concentrate and water coming out. The third ingredient then is air. So that's what these holes are for. So when we're using this, we make sure not to cover those holes. If we do cover them, it's just gonna be water and concentrate. It's not gonna foam up or do anything like that. We need to make sure that that is clear at all times so that the foam is, or the, the air is actually making the foam work then. Um, it's pretty much a smaller version. This is a smaller version of this, but it kind of explains that a little bit more. Okay, so let's crack on with seeing how much water we can expel and we calculate our PIR. I have this on, it's just sitting on setting four. I can use it then. I'm just gonna use it in setting four for this example anyway. And my bucket is empty. So let's do this all in real time and hope for the best then. And we'll show you the calculations then afterwards. So I'm gonna, even though this video is more or less done, all done in real time, I'm gonna speed this bit up because it's just a bit boring and just putting water into this, all right? Okay, all right, so that has me empty now in that one. Okay, so it's not basically drawing in anything more in that because there's nothing left in it. And what I've come to is uh, I'm roughly, I'm just above nine liters here, so 9,000 milliliters. Um, I'm gonna say it's about 910, give or take, in around 910, 915. We call it 910 for, for argument's sake anyway. And um, now what we need to do is we need to calculate 4% of 9,100 milliliters and get your calculator, switch it on somehow. Okay, let's do it. Okay, so excuse that now, that little break there. Um, there's absolutely nothing changed or anything like that done. It's still 910 or 9,100 milliliters. My battery just went, so I had to change that. So get our calculator and we're going. Uh, that focus in on that one. Come on, focus. I think I'm focused there now. Okay, so 9,100 milliliters multiplied by 4%. Okay, see that? Yeah equals 364 milliliters okay so 364 milliliters will give us an impact ratio or a panel impact ratio from the trigger itself of four percent on setting four now if you change the setting again that panel impact ratio is going to be different you're going to need a different amount of um of product in the bottle okay so 364 mils we're looking at five four hundred 350 is in around there. In around that is what I'm looking at to have concentrate uh, for 4%. I did do another test with, it was on speed setting two, and I think it worked out at about 430 um, milliliters of 440, so you'd be adding another little bit more. So again, it all depends on what setting you have there. So once you know your panel impact ratio, even take it down, jot it down, setting four, PIR is 364 or whatever it was there. Setting two, you know, if you want to use less concentrate or less uh, less product, if you're doing maybe two two shots on the car or whatever like that, if you're maybe after putting um, fallout remover and tar and stuff like that, and you want to use it again, well, maybe you you'd, you'd use it on number two, spray it again, and at least you have one dose in one bottle will do the, the car twice or whatever. So it all depends on what settings you have there. So hopefully it explains a little bit of why you need to calculate your own PIR depending on what equipment you're using. As I said, I'm using a uh, Karcher K4 Compact. I'm using a foam lance then from Reflect Auto Care. And I had it on setting four for that one. Um, yeah, so as I said, test your own, get your own PIR. That's how you do it, okay? So if you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. Um, don't forget to hit the subscribe button down there. It's a big red button, I think. Um, hit the bell notification if you want to be made aware of when I release new videos. Um, 
All help is much appreciated by doing any one of those things. Even comment on the video, let me know. Is there other ways? Is there easier ways of doing it? That's what I found the easier way. Um, but uh, yeah, look, help the channel, hit the subscribe button and help us to grow and hopefully make bigger and better videos and, and stuff like that then, you know? Um, actually, one point, if you don't have a, a bucket with a measuring um, thing on the side of it, um, you can also get a measuring jug then as well and just carefully take it out one liter at a time or whatever it may be and calculate it, just add it up then or whatever. So um, you don't necessarily need the measuring bucket, but anyway, it all helps. So, okay, thanks very much for watching and we'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.